a former CIA targeter, especially with all the people you're calling out today, what do you carry to protect yourself? Well, if you have to know, chapstick, man. You gotta be kidding me. Chapstick? Yes! A lot of people do this. What are you doing with that? It's for my lips. That's... Who wants to dry mouth? I talk all the time. <laughs> Worried about protecting your lips? Nice, nice. But, but no, honestly, I really think like, women probably shouldn't say what they have in their toolkit. You know what I mean? Because why let people know what you're capable of doing? Hey. I don't even talk about the trainings I had because who needs to know that? Well, nobody. Exactly. I appreciate that. Do you want to talk about any of it or nah? I think I'm good. I, I, I let, let, they can come at me and see what happens. All right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. Well, in that case, we won't talk about it then. Yeah. So, Sean Ryan podcast. I have aspirations one day to be on that show, but what I want to talk about today is the reality of this clip. I think it's super awesome that he asked this question and her response was perfect um, because the reality of female personal protection it's all about the element of surprise right so you know us men the more physically potent of the two sexes we are not <laughs> we're not the most hunted sex you know um and there's a perception of danger already um yes there are social dynamics to that but when you start to really look at what it takes as a female to survive or overcome in a violent encounter, so much of that has to do with the element of surprise. And so what I absolutely love that she did in this episode was she decided and opted to maintain that element of surprise. Where you stow a blade when you're dealing with a man who wants to bring you in close, whether you understand how to use a firearm or not, all these different things are really what make women most dangerous is the fact that Men don't organically see them as threats, and so in violent altercations, so often men are completely caught off guard. Uh, the other side of that is that in these violent altercations, if a female is having to use a, a force multiplier to protect herself, she's really only got one shot at it. The good thing is he's probably not gonna be expecting it. The bad thing is if she is not extremely confident in the implementation of that force multiplier, now it belongs to him. So uh, I think this response was super awesome. If you haven't seen the Sean Ryan podcast, go check it out. Uh, keep doing awesome work, Sean. It's a, such an honor. Uh, the world needs what you're doing right now. And uh, ladies, if you're out there and you want to really, uh, like, really want to be able to protect yourself, one principle you can take away is that in a force-on-force -force encounter with a man, a violent encounter, um, the element of surprise is one of your number one tools. So if you're if you have a weapon on you. Make sure you can get to it when someone's grabbing you. Um, and then make sure you know exactly where to put it to save your life when it counts. So understand these things. So much more to come. Check out the Civilian Protector Project. We've got over 70 hours of personal protection training being taught by some of the best in the world there. Multiple instructors. Um, and it'll help elevate your PQ protection quotient. So much more to come. Boom, it's finally here. Go to ProtectorNation.com to join the Protector Nation community. Learn online and become part of our Protector Nation family. I look forward to seeing you guys there and for us all to join forces to make the world a safer place by helping good people to become more dangerous. I'll see you there and until then, be peaceful but not harmless.